Hi, this is Laura. I'm your artist in residence at Huntsman Cancer Institute Wellness Center. And for our project today, we're gonna to be doing plein air painting, which basically means painting outside. And so I'm gonna encourage you to go sit outside, set up a chair and a table, find something that you like to look at, and grab some watercolors, uh, some brushes, that's really all you need, watercolor paper, and just jump right in. So I'm gonna show you how I like to do it. So you can go ahead and draw outlines of forms with pencil, but I like to just grab the brush and just get started. So Owen's gonna show you what I'm doing. I like to block in the background first because I feel like a lot of times people will start with like a little leaf or a flower and then build from there, but I kinda like to block the whole composition in. And the great thing is you can paint whatever you want. So you don't have to include every little detail or every little background. This is totally your time to be out in nature, to observe nature, and then record what you're not just seeing, but also what you're feeling. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm looking at these bush shapes and just blocking in some of those forms. And as you can see, I'm going pretty quickly because I can always change things up. It doesn't have to be perfect. All right, so I'm, I'm blocking in this background. I'm not gonna have a totally white background right from the beginning. So I've already got this blocked in. And then I'm gonna start with a smaller brush and go ahead and get some of my leaves and branches in. So I'm starting to block in leaves. So you're basically just building your painting. You know, and you can do things like this, where you've got sort of a clump of leaves. You can do some different greens. Got more of a sage green right here. sage that's in front of this brush starting to get these iris leaves in in the front there's some Oregon grape right here and I could even take this big big brush and sort of mark that in as a shape and then I can start to add detail later. I'm even seeing, I like really want to get some of these purple vinca flowers. That brush is not good. Um, and so I'm just starting to add those. So you can see I'm starting to make a map of the landscape I have in front of me. And then you just build and add and I'm gonna finish this later on and I'm gonna show it to you, the finished result uh, on this post. Ooh, it's getting sunny out. Um, but just to kind of show you, like here I have this wash of green for my Oregon grape and like I can actually just start to add the branches like that. So this gives you a good idea how to start just jumping in, enjoying the color, enjoying being outside, and really thinking about your painting as shape and color and not being too concerned about being absolutely realistic. So that's what I have to share today, and I will show you the completed artwork tomorrow. And I look forward to seeing you again. Bye!